I am resurrection and I am life, says the Lord. Whoever has faith in me shall have life, even though they die. And everyone who has life and has committed themselves to me in faith shall live forever. As for me, I know that my Redeemer lives, and that at the last God will stand upon the earth. After my awaking, God will raise me up, and in my body I shall see God. I myself shall see, and my eyes behold God, who is my friend and not a stranger. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. O God, whose mercies cannot be numbered, accept our prayers on behalf of your servant, Virginia, and grant her an entrance into the land of light and joy in the fellowship of your saints. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Please be seated for the reading of the word. A reading from the book of Isaiah. The spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me he has sent me to bring good news to the oppressed, to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and release to the prisoners, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor, to comfort all who mourn, to provide for those who mourn in Zion, to give them a garland instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of mourning, the mantle of praise instead of a faint spirit. They will be called oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord to display his glory. They shall build up the ancient ruins. They shall raise up the former devastations. They shall repair the ruined cities, the devastations of many generations. The word of the Lord. The psalm appointed for today is Psalm 121, 
which we will read responsively by half verse. I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where will my help come? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. God will not let your foot be moved. The one who keeps you will not slumber. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is the shade at your right hand. The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life. The second reading is from the letter of Paul to the Corinthians. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. But as for prophecies, they will come to an end. As for tongues, they will cease. As for knowledge, it will come to an end. For we know only in part, and we prophesy only in part. But when the complete comes, the partial will come to an end. When I was a child, I spoke like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. When I became an adult, I put an end to childish ways. For now we see in a mirror dimly, but then we will see face to face. Now I know only in part, then I will know fully, even as I have been fully known. And now faith, hope, and love abide, these three, and the greatest of these is love. The word of the Lord. Holy Gospel of Jesus Christ, according to John. Glory to you, Lord Christ. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, so that where I am, you may be also. And you know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The Gospel of Christ. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Christ.
May the words of my mouth and the meditations of all of our hearts be always acceptable in your sight. O Lord, our strength and our redeemer. Amen. We gather today to remember, to give thanks for, to honor the life of the incomparable Virginia Wagner. One of a kind. One of those rare souls who by making their way through the world breaks the mold, forges their own way, pioneers, Virginia Wagner. Virginia was born on Valentine's Day, as she loved to recall, in 1925. She had many sadnesses in her early life, more downs than ups, she would say. Her mother died when Virginia was just seven years old, and Virginia and her three younger siblings made a home with Virginia's aunt, Wilda. With the help of Virginia's grandfather, Wilda raised all four of those children and her own. They made a family together. Virginia loved her aunt dearly. Wilda was her rock, her guide. And Virginia learned from her what it is to have strength, courage, resilience, endurance, and love. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Their blended family moved to Royal Oak from Detroit and joined this St. John's Episcopal Church in 1933. So Virginia Wagner was a member of this parish for most of our 100 year history. I took a few breaks, she said, but I came back. St. John's is my home, she told me, her home. Virginia built her home here, and you were her family. She loved to talk about all the connections she made here, didn't she? All the webs of relationships and how you all fit together. She loved her many circles of friends, her dinner group, the people for whom she coordinated flower memorials for that altar for decades. The many people she sent cards to. Wasn't it something to get a card from Virginia because you knew that every single word was carefully considered and then communicated. She loved you all. The people she kept tabs on the people she helped quietly, her bridge group, her dominoes group, and her beloved St. John's choir. She especially asked that today I would mention her close friendships that she made with Joyce Morey and Ann Davis. And I just want to say that I watched, we all watched the care and the love and the dedication that you extended for, to Virginia for all these years. And we saw your special bond. Virginia trusted and loved you like family. You were family to her. So thank you. Thank you to all of you. Love bears all things. Believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Virginia's stories would often circle around back to stories about her work at the telephone company. And her career was something to be proud of. Virginia was a pioneer for women in the workplace, 
a champion for fair and equal wages, an advocate for career advancement, even before there were names for those movements. She was a fierce activist. Virginia Wagner could speak her mind. She wanted what was fair for herself and for others. And she wanted to be seen and known and valued. She could be tough and bold and extravagant. But those who knew her well also knew that Virginia had a very soft and tender spot in her heart for those who were most vulnerable. And sometimes she showed her love in very quiet and unassuming and enigmatic ways. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. Oh my goodness, how could we talk about the life of Virginia Wagner without talking about the place that music held in her life? I started singing when I was a little child, entertaining my whole family like a regular little Shirley Temple, she would recall. And I've been a diva ever since. <laughs> yep. Virginia had a gift. And she knew that the gift of her voice was given to her by God. And so she sang and sang. She sang anywhere she could. She had the voice of an angel, as has often been quoted. She sang for regional events, the national anthem for professional sports teams for years. And she sang at St. John's both as a chorister and as a soloist for decades. You remember, we remember. She sang with Shelley Baker, the P.A. Yezu from Andrew Lloyd Webber's Requiem here. And it will be sung at the All Saints Day service tomorrow. And many of us will remember Virginia as we hear the words, P.A. Yezu, P.A. Yezu, Dona Eis Requiem, merciful Jesus, grant them rest. Virginia championed music at this church. She told me in one of our very last conversations that the development of her personal theology and the prayers and the biblical stories and the meaning of the seasons of the church year were all things that she learned by singing in the choir all those years. And these things were deeply embedded in her soul. As St. Augustine once said, the one who sings prays twice. Virginia was so grateful for the opportunity to participate in the music program here. And she told the story of how she didn't have any formal music training, except from what she received here at the church. A music director named Marjorie Grulick, who heard her, saw her, valued her, and gave her the opportunity to develop her voice, to learn. She was so grateful for that. And she also knew that she wouldn't have had, she wouldn't have gained the confidence to be a soloist or perform the range of music that she did if she hadn't have had this venue in which to sing. And she saw it also as an offering. Her way of giving thanks to God. And that was one of the reasons that she asked that memorial gifts be made to the music program. Virginia and I met several times to plan this funeral. <laughs> and she also met with Anne several times and we put our heads together. 
and came up with the service that we're offering today in her honor and memory, but it was clear to all of us, her family and friends, her niece, all of her St. John's family, that Virginia wanted a celebration of her life to include music. So when she died almost a year ago, we said, well, let's go ahead and gather, and we did on Zoom to remember her, but let's wait to have the memorial service until we can sing. And Virginia Wagner asked that we sing today. I love this third verse from What Wondrous Love Is This, and can't we just hear her singing it? When from death I'm free, I'll sing on, I'll sing on. And when from death I'm free, I'll sing on. I'll sing and joyful be, and through eternity, I'll sing on. And she asked that we sing, when in our music God is glorified, and adoration leaves no room for pride. It is as though the whole creation cried, hallelujah. Can't you just hear her singing? How do you summarize the life of Virginia Wagner? Virginia was incomparable, unique, feisty, generous, the first to say that she wasn't perfect. She was always learning, working through bumps, she called them, coming to terms, deciding to choose relationship over things that would cause division. In my later years, she told me, it's good to let any bad feelings die. And she wanted me to share that with you. When I was a child, I spoke like a child, and I thought like a child, and I reasoned like a child. But when I became an adult, I put an end to childish ways. For now we see in a mirror dimly, but then we will see face to face. Now I know only in part then I will know fully, even as I have been fully known. At the end of her life, Virginia was full of gratitude, and she wanted desperately for all of you to know how very much she loved you. She wanted you to know that you were home to her. And now faith, hope, and love abide. These three, but the greatest of these is love. All right, I have to do this. I was inspired by Joyce Morey. How will we remember her as she would have liked it? Let's give Virginia the last word. At some point in her journey, Virginia chose the precise words to describe herself. <laughs> and some of you have seen it. She had a set of business cards printed. Joyce has one with these words. And she carried them with her and she would distribute them to whom she chose. Thank you, Joyce, for sharing your card with me again yesterday. And this is in Virginia's words. M. Virginia Wagner, P-A-L, pensioner at large, specialist in good times, dining connoisseur, musician, theater buff, gambler, international traveler, vicious card player, and cat sitter. Reach out and keep in touch, 641-8811. And we will keep in touch, Virginia, in our prayers and in our memories 
And you will live forever in our music and in our hearts and in the heart of God. And we will remember love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. And when all is said and done, faith, hope, and love abide, these three. But the greatest of these is love. Amen. Please stand. In the assurance of eternal life given at baptism, let us proclaim our faith and say, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. For our sister Virginia, let us pray to our Lord Jesus Christ, who said, I am resurrection and I am life. Lord, you consoled Mary, Martha and Mary in their distress. Draw near to us who mourn for Virginia and dry the tears of those who weep. You wept at the grave of Lazarus, your friend. Comfort us in your sorrow. You raise the dead to life. Give to our sister eternal life. You promise paradise to the thief who repented. Bring our sister to the joys of heaven. Our sister was washed in baptism and anointed with the Holy Spirit. Give her fellowship with all your saints. She was nourished with your body and blood Grant her a place at the table in your heavenly kingdom. Comfort us in our sorrows at the death of our sister. Let our faith be our consolation and eternal life our hope. God of all, we pray to you for Virginia and for all those whom we love but see no longer. Grant to them eternal rest. Let light perpetual shine upon them. And may her soul and the souls of all the departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. And may the peace of Christ be always with you. God's peace. God's peace be with you all. We'll just stand apart so we can take our masks off. Please be seated. Welcome to all of you. It's so beautiful to see you together remembering and honoring Virginia. Thank you for coming. She would have been so delighted by this gathering. Um, I wanted to uh, invite, because we can't exit this way, we will all be leaving through the chapel and it will be that time for some that way for some time. But um, we're going to go this way to the Resurrection Garden for the interment. All of you are welcome to uh, participate in that. Um, Anna and and Joyce will join the clergy in the um, Resurrection Garden. The rest of you 
you can stand here and see through the glass. You can stand in the resurrection garden uh, narthex of the chapel. You can stand in the chapel. There's many places where you can see the glass. So uh, we hope that you will participate that. And as was um, Virginia's wish, we'll be singing Silent Night as we move to, <laughs> to the uh, resurrection garden. Sleep in heavenly peace. I think that's just wonderful. Virginia also asked that if there were any memorial gifts given in her honor and memory, that they be given to the St. John's uh, music program. And so uh, we invite you to do that if that's something you would like to do. All are welcome uh, to receive communion at St. John's. Uh, Beth and I will be standing at the front of the center aisle and over this corner. So you can come down the center aisle or east transept and that side, join us over there to receive the, the bread made holy, the bread that is the body of Christ. All are welcome. Let us with gladness proceed to the table for Eucharist.
God be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. It is right and a good and joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you, God Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who rose victorious from the dead and comforts us with the blessed hope of everlasting life. For to your faithful people, O Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when our mortal body lies in death, there is prepared for us a dwelling place eternal in the heavens. Therefore, we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. give thanks to you, O God, for the goodness and love which you have made known to us in creation, in the calling of Israel to be your people, in your word spoken through the prophets, and above all, in the word made flesh, Jesus, your Son. For in these last days you sent him to be incarnate from the Virgin Mary, to be the Savior and Redeemer of the world. In him you have delivered us from evil and made us worthy to stand before you. In him you have brought us out of error into truth, out of sin into righteousness, out of death into life. On the night before he died for us, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread. And when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given from you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for all, for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, according to his command, O Father, we remember, remember his, his death, death. We, we proclaim, proclaim his, his resurrection, resurrection. We await, we await his, his coming, coming in glory, glory, and we offer our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving to you, O God of all, presenting to you from your creation this bread and this wine. We pray you, gracious God, to send your Holy Spirit upon these gifts, that they may be the sacrament of the body of Christ and the blood of the new covenant. Unite us to your Son in his sacrifice, that we may be acceptable through him being sanctified by the Holy Spirit. In the fullness of time, put all things in subjection under your Christ and bring us to that heavenly country where, with all your saints, we may enter the everlasting heritage of your sons and daughters. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, the firstborn of all creation, the head of the church and the author of our salvation. By Christ and with Christ and in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, almighty God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. And now as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to pray. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done, done on, on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. bread. And forgive, forgive us our, our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. are the 
the gifts of God, and, and we, we are, are the, the people, people of God. God. Behold who you are, and become what you receive. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. 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 The body of Christ, the bread of heaven.
Let us pray together. Almighty, Almighty God, God, we thank, thank you that in your great, great love, love, you have fed us with the spiritual food of your Son, Jesus, Jesus Christ, and have given us a foretaste of your heavenly banquet. Grant, grant that this sacrament may be to us a comfort in our affliction, affliction and a pledge of our inheritance in that, that kingdom where there is, is no death, death neither sorrow nor crying, but the fullness of joy with all your saints, through Jesus Christ our Savior. Amen. Give rest, O Christ, to your servant with your saints. Where sorrow and pain are no more, neither sighing, but life everlasting. You only are immortal, the creator and maker of humankind. And we are mortal, formed of the earth, and to earth shall we return. For so did you ordain it when you created me, saying, You are dust, and to dust you shall return. All of us go down to the dust, yet even at the grave we make our song, Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Give rest, O Christ, to your servant with your saints. Where, where sorrow, sorrow and pain, pain are no more, more neither sighing, but, but life everlasting. Into your hands, O merciful Savior, we commend your servant, Virginia. Acknowledge, we humbly beseech you, a sheep of your own fold, a lamb of your own flock, a sinner of your own redeeming. Receive her into the arms of your mercy into the blessed rest of everlasting peace and into the glorious company of the saints in light. Amen. Amen. And may the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his son, our savior, Jesus Christ. And the blessing of God almighty, the creator, the Christ and the Holy Spirit be with you this day and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Hallelujah. Let us go forth in the name of Christ. Thank Thanks be to God. Alleluia. And it's in singing in procession to the resurrection garden.
My heart is glad and my spirit rejoices. My body also shall rest in hope. You will show me the path of life. In your presence there is fullness of joy. And in your right hand there are pleasures forevermore. In the sure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life, through our Lord Jesus Christ, we commend to Almighty God our sister Virginia. And we commit her ashes to the ground. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. May the Lord bless her and keep her. May the face of God shine upon her and be gracious to her. May the countenance of God rise upon her and give her peace. Amen. Let us say together, The, the Lord, Lord is, is my shepherd, shepherd. I, I shall not want. want. He maketh, he maketh me, me to lie down, down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Rest eternal, grant to her, O Lord, and, and let, let perpetual, perpetual shine, shine upon her. her. And may her soul and the souls of all the departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Amen. Alleluia. Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. Let us go forth in the name of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.